Are you ready for this? Does anybody need the toilet? Alright then folks, today's job is a roof scraping job, it's been a while man, I haven't put one of these on the channel in ages. Um, so yeah, that's the roof, it's full of moss, it's really really bad. Uh, the neighbours just came out and said oh we can park on her drive because I've just scraped all the bottom of my van uh, parking down there which is fun. Um, that roof down there as you can see was cleaned by me and then there's one roof over there, not this one, over the way, over there, that was also cleaned by me. Um, a few months ago now, which are all looking great. This one will look exactly the same, so I'll show you when I get up there and then I'll start cleaning. Nice one.
if anyone's wondering the reason why I'm scraping these instead of pressure washing them um, is it's all down to a price thing. So it's a rental property and the landlord got in touch, which is rare. The landlord actually getting some work done on the property. Um, and he said basically just whatever the cheapest option is. So I give them both. Um, scraping's a bit cheaper because I don't really use any fuel. Um, it's easier for me to do. Um, and the cleanup time is quicker. So overall, it's a much quicker job. 11 o'clock will probably be, where is it? Oh, it's 12 o'clock. We'll probably be out of here by three o'clock. Whereas if this was a steam cleaning, cleaning job or a pressure washing job, We'd be here for a day and a half, so there's the, there's a quite a big price difference there. Right then, folks, the uh, heavens have opened yet again, uh, but the roof is all scraped, so we're just going to hang around for a bit, really. I actually need to go off because um, I've got a leak on my machine that uh, the guys at PWS are going to be sorting out. Uh, it's just like my tank's leaking a bit. I think it's the valve on it. Um, so I need to shoot off and do that in a minute. Kev's just going to hang around for a little bit and see if we can put the biocide on. So basically with biocide, if it's raining, uh, you don't want to be putting it on the roof because it's just going to dilute it more and you're going to get inconsistencies with your results. It'll kill off some of the moss, uh, but there might be patches where, you know, there could be a certain amount of rain that's falling on one part of the roof um, and you'll have inconsistency, inconsistencies in the, the dilution on that roof. So you'll end up with a bit of a patchy roof. So I'd always avoid biocide in, in the rain. You can buy a side on a damp roof just as long as it's like a little bit damp so say if this stops raining now and we've got sun for the next uh, hour and a half that will dry it out anyway um, or buy, it'll be fine if the roof's a little bit damp it's perfectly safe to buy a side on it and it'll still do an amazing job um, and then once the buy side has dried on the roof uh, it can rain all it wants then and it's not going to cause any issues because once that buy side has soaked into that moss it's already dead so uh, that's the main thing right then so that's the job hope you guys enjoyed a bit of roof scraping i was going to do a video on the gk pro dosatron today for this job but i've got to go and get stuff fixed and maintenance it's oh gosh uh i'm all over the place at the moment so um next week i'll try and get that done and everyone can have a look at that new piece of kit because it's really cool all right then folks thanks for watching all the best bye bye this might be a, a two-part but not a two-part video i might have another job in this video i'm not sure all right then folks here is the second job of the day so pressure washing on this one all the way down here uh, there's a large area here i think there's been some sort of hot tub or something that's been sat there so we'll try and get that as even as possible um, as you can see it's filthy so get kev moving this stuff out of the way and sweeping up we uh, we follow all the way down here and there's a little concrete pad at the bottom and then we've got this to do so all of this wall here because it's really green there's i don't know what this is paint i think on that one we'll try and blast that off uh, follow me up these stairs. We've got lucky these guys, absolutely covered. And then finally, up to this uh, flagstone pad at the top as well. Um, and then that's it. And obviously all the walls on the inside as well. I mean, look, look at all this, absolutely covered. So, right, I'll, uh, it's half twelve or quarter to one, so don't waste any time. Let's go. Hi folks, a uh, quick little voiceover from me here. So I usually do these smaller pressure washing jobs uh, on my own, but I didn't have anything else for Kev on the day, so I brought him with me. So what I'm actually doing, you'll see there's quite a lot, loads of staining left over on these uh, as I go. So it looks like I'm leaving them quite dirty. I'm not. Basically what's happening is Kev is following behind me and he is brushing in sodium hypochlorite. So as I clean it and rinse it down, he's brushing in the chemical behind me, just trying to make sure that we um, there's no downtime on the job. And uh, so that way then when I do the final rinse off at the end, everything is perfectly clean. I don't need to get the extra out or nothing. It's basically just some hypo diluted in a bucket. You dip a brush in it, you scrub it on with a brush. It's as simple as that. You don't really need any fancy kit or anything like that to be able to put the chemical on the ground um, because all, all of these slabs were really, really bad, really bad. So uh, it was definitely needed. So I made sure to chat. I was like, Kev, follow up behind me because these are bad. Right then folks, uh, enjoy. This was quite a fun job actually. Uh, we found a, a wild, uh, a wild pipe snake, and uh, everything came up great. So yeah, enjoy.
Okay then folks, we're dealing with a bit of a blunt grind uh, down here at this pipe. It weighs a ton. Are you ready for this? Are you ready for this? 
anybody need the toilet? Holy moly! Look at the size of it! Wow! New record dung, man! <laughs> Look at this! Jesus! Roots all the way in the ground. Gosh! Whoa! What a corker! Oh, that's just dessert coming out there now. There we go. Yep. There we are, a bit of excitement for the day. I want to see if I can have a dig and try and uh, clear it. Obviously it's a, it's a soak away that goes straight into the ground, so we'll, uh, we'll see what we can do here. You see what I pulled out, Kev? No. Oh my god. <laughs> Big snake. Yeah. Is that blocked in down there as well? Yeah, I want to try and get my hand in there and dig it out. Okay then, folks, voila, look at that. Kev's just rinsing off uh, the last little bit there. Uh, it's all come up really nice, actually. Uh, it's a shame about the calcium um, on the walls. Unfortunately, we'd need brick acid to get that off. And then here's up here. Lovely and clean, look at that. See the pad up there came up lovely. <clears throat> Make sure to do the wall there at the bottom as well, Kev. Oh yeah. And the plant and rinse all the plant pots and everything. Yeah. And then that pad over there came up really, really nice as well. So we'll give that one final rinse off. Um, and then we're out of there. That's quite a uh, quite a quick job to be honest with you, which is always nice. You just want to black the uh, just black the underside of these steps as well. Yes, sir. a bit tough on them.